What's up everybody? I'm feeling like a little vegan, a little Italian, a little pasta. I'm gonna do a little bit of vegan rotini pasta. Welcome to my kitchen. pasta and as you see this is the rotini pasta and it's made from chickpeas it is vegan and it's also uh, gluten free which I love and so you sort of chop up your garlic so we're gonna put that to the side this pasta honestly you can use whatever veggies you want to use I'm gonna do a little bit of eggplant I'm gonna do some zucchini. I'm gonna chop up some tomato and add it in there. And I like to peel my eggplant like this. You can do it with a uh, peeler too. But I like to do it like this. And you can eat this if you want, but it's a little bitter for me. So I like to just kind of put it to the side. Now, when you're doing eggplant, you wanna make sure that you are ready to cook right then and there because just like the potato, your eggplant will oxidize and once the air hits it, and it'll become brown. And y'all, keep looking out. These knives are coming out soon. Make sure you uh, check out my Instagram, Chef Trigay. I'm always gonna post like when these knives are coming out. You guys don't wanna miss these knives. They cut with precision. I'm super duper proud of these knives. So we're gonna put this to the side here. And then we're gonna do some zucchini. I save uh, the skins for stock. So even though I could use the skin, I just feel like the skin on the eggplant is just super tough to me. I don't like chewing it. I like when it melts in your mouth. A baba ganoush or something. I'm gonna make you guys baba ganoush one day. Save your skins for your veggie stock. I'm always gonna remind you to save your skins for your veggie stock. Product. And I love doing it in the cast iron skillet because you're going to get it nice and caramelized just as if you would uh, a normal ground beef. Alright, so I've already added to the pan the ground vegan meat. I've also added the onions, the garlic, the eggplant, the zucchini, and I'm going to finish it off with the mushroom. And I'm going to let all this cook down together. So that meat will really capture the flavoring of all of those veggies. In the meantime, in between time, I'm going to add some Italian herb seasoning. Oh my goodness, this is a go-to anytime you have any kind of a, a, a veggie pasta. I mean, an Italian pasta of some sort. You always want to do that. Any kind of pasta. Marinara, anything Italian is really good. Some garlic salt. And we're just going to stir that right together. You 
You want your veggies to be fully cooked. Alright, so we're going to give that time to cook down. I'm going to go ahead and chop up the tomatoes in the meantime. And these tomatoes, as you notice, I didn't put them in with the rest of the veggies because I want them to be that pop of freshness right at the end. So I don't really want them to cook down too much. I want them to keep their texture and their body. I'm going to add that acidic that I need and even a little sweetness. And if the tomato doesn't have enough sweetness, you can always add a little bit of brown sugar, like we're gonna do. Alright, so now we're nice and brown. So we're gonna go ahead and add some organic, uh, just some tomato sauce. You just get it out the can and, or jar. I like to get the organic ones that's in a jar. Um, so they taste better to me. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to add a little bit more of that Italian seasoning because now we're seasoning the sauce as well. Granulated onion. And a little bit more garlic. So we're just going to stir this together. And we're going to just let this baby simmer. And get all these flavors. I mean, look at that. Come on. You see that beautiful mushroom. You see the herbs. I mean, this just looks, looks like regular spaghetti night in my book. It's spaghetti night for vegans. So we're just going to warm the rotini noodles up in just a little bit of butter. Nothing more. Just giving it nice and warm. Now, my son does not like his sauce to touch his noodles before it gets to the table. He wants to do it himself. So, if you got a family like mine that's a little up and down, you can serve it like this where you serve it family style with the pasta on the plate and then the uh, sauce to the side. Or, you could just serve it just like this. Look at that. Look at those bright veggies. Alright, and there you have it, my vegan chickpea rotini pasta. Thanks for stopping by the kitchen. See you next time.